Right, this morning I'm joined with Hannah Martin from um, Talented Ladies Club. She's a freelance copywriter and uh, she's worked for some very big names including uh, Disney, Sony, Google, HSBC, The Economist and, and many more. Um, and she's got an impressive history. Um, Hannah is a qualified hypnotherapist, psychotherapist um, and an L NLP practitioner. So um, very good. She's a mum. She has uh, two children, um, Ollie and Mimi, and uh, she lives in West Sussex and is involved in the PTA as well as, uh, as her work life. So welcome, Hannah. Hello, Sarah. <laughs> Thanks very much for, for your time today and for joining us. And um, I'm just going to get stuck right in and I, I hope I've introduced you correctly with uh, all the right information. And um, I just wondered whether you could um, tell us why you set up um, Talented Ladies Club or, or, and um, you know, why, why you set up on your own. Um, I was a copywriter working in London um, when I had my son and I carried on working. Um, when I fell pregnant with my daughter, I decided I wanted to work from home so I could be around my children. Um, and it was that time I met so many amazingly talented women who were all mothers and all really struggled to continue their career in the same way once they had children. Mm -hmm. But like me, they were just as ambitious as ever, just as passionate, just as capable. Um, and I felt that if just in my small hometown, I came across so many amazing women who all had the same problem. There must be thousands of them around the UK. And I personally um, eventually found a way to continue my career um, by freelancing from home. Um, and I just wanted to share, I wanted to bring us all together and to have a place for women to go who felt like I did and my friends, that we could feel inspired and we could get information that basically would say that just because your career isn't the same as how it used to be, it doesn't mean to say that you have to yeah no oh, absolutely fantastic and you know the, we need women like you around to uh, you know to show people that because I know there's a lot of um, women out there who want to go it alone who want to set up their own business and they are extremely talented mm. uh, but probably lacking the confidence to do it so um, you know it's, it's good to, to speak to you about this and then um, what is the thing that you enjoy most about working for yourself what are the biggest benefits to you? I love, I am completely in control. So, I mean, I actually work far more, far more hours than I would do for an employer, probably. Yeah, um, yeah. But it's on my hands. So, I choose when I work. I choose what I work on. Um, I choose where I work. I choose what I wear to work. You know, I love it. And I can design my life, my work around my life. So, my parents live in Devon and about five or six times a year in the school holidays. I take the kids down there for a week and I'll work from Devon. So I love the freedom and flexibility and control it gives me. Yeah, absolutely. That's, uh, you know, one of the things that I enjoy as well, being self-employed is you can't, can't beat it. You can't no. get that with an employed job. No, definitely not. And obviously, um, it's not all roses, um, as we both know, and you know, there are bad days. And I just wondered if you would be happy to share what struggles that you faced with setting up your own business and uh, how you've overcome them. Yeah, definitely. Um, I, the biggest struggles are t time management and personal management. So learning how to prioritize what's really important to do um, and what you can let go of and what you can outsource. I think that's really important. Um, working out the areas of your business where you can grow it the most, you're really needed and that you love doing. And the areas of business that you don't love doing and aren't necessarily needed on that, that you can give to someone else. Um, that's been a real struggle for us. Um, and also for us, I mean, it's a personal one. We had no idea when we started Town to Ladies Club how we could monetize it, how it could be a business in effect. We just created something we felt really passionate about um, and then kind of retrospectively tried to work out how it could be a business that paid us a full-time income, so therefore we could devote our time to it. Um, and that's been a massive learning curve for us. On the plus side, though, it means that we can then teach other women. So we've had a real learning curve, um, but we can show other women how to shortcut the learning curve. Um, and finally, I think the, the thing that you said about bad days, it is inevitable any business will have bad days, bad weeks, and even bad months. And the businesses that survive are the ones that, that ride through those and stay resilient and learn and adapt. Yeah. Thanks, Hannah. 
So um, what advice would you have for people setting up on their own now? Um, I, would, um, I would plan your business out properly. I would really think about, um, and actually a business plan is a really good thing to do because even if you don't need it, say for apply for funding, it helps you to look at all the areas that are really important to your business and think about the most valid, the relevant questions. Like, you know, where, where is your profits going to come from? How are you going to reach your customers and who they are? So I would plan out your business. Um, and I would also, as I said, stay resilient. Please do accept that there will be hard times and don't give up. You know, change and adapt and learn if you need to. Um, but don't quit. I've seen brilliant businesses give up way, way too soon just because they lost faith or they, they couldn't handle um, the difficult times or they thought it was only them. You, you often feel alone. So another piece of advice that I would find people to other business owners, whether it's online or face to face, that you connect with and share your journey with them because they could be the people that prop you up when times are tough because they will get it. Your friends and family, if they're not entrepreneurs, they may not understand what you are doing and they may say, well, maybe it's time you gave this up because it's not working or I don't like seeing you work so hard and not get anything back from it. Um, so I would surround yourself with other supportive entrepreneurs who can be honest with you and that will help you see you through tough times. Yeah, I mean, I'm a huge advocate of that as well and uh, something that I, I write about in my book and uh, I'm absolutely with you there. And uh, yeah, the, unfortunately, sometimes friends and family will kind of be asking you when you're getting a proper job <laughs> I've been through all that um, but you come out of the other end you know if you if you're resilient and if you as you said if you don't give up so absolutely uh, yeah so Hannah just um finally could you just tell us a little bit about your business and uh, the type of people that you're looking to attract into it um, so basically, um, it's predominantly mothers, although 20% of our readers are men, apparently, um, and everyone's welcome to read the site. But basically, it's women who've had careers that they love, careers that they're good at, um, and then had children, and then struggle to, do, to find a way to do what they love. I mean, it may be that they don't want to go back to their old job, that they feel that now they've had a child and had a break from work, that they've re-evaluated their skills and passions. Um, or it could be that they don't fit into their old life. And either they want to find flexible work to go freelance or start a business. And we're just there to inspire them and then to give them access to the things they need to do, it, be it training, be signposting them to different different organizations but just to basically help women yeah I mean it's, it's an amazing business model I've, I've been on your site I think it's fantastic um, and there's lots of other inspirational um, women on there and um, I, I think you know there's some fantastic advice on there for um, you know for people who have their own business or are thinking of starting up or, or like a career change so um, what's the website Hannah it's talentedladiesclub.com okay definitely worth a look um really good resources so um thank you very much uh, for, for your time uh, i know you're a busy lady successful businesswoman and uh, you've given us some fantastic advice so um many thanks hannah thank you sarah